It's time to bring back the adventure bus and make it better than ever before. If you guys watched the last video where we talked about how blown up it was, you'd know that we are pulling the engine on the adventure bus, building it, rebuilding it, and upgrading it, putting it back in, and making a bunch of power. Where we're building the bottom end, new oil pump, head studs, head gasket, delete, uh, fuel upgrades, bigger injectors, maybe a bigger turbo, we'll see, new glow plugs, a complete reseal, and all that starts today. So today, our goal is to pull the motor from the adventure bus, get it torn down, see exactly what the damage is, and get all the parts sent off to the machine shop and ready to be put back together. Now, as I speak, the guys at Truckworks are working on the bus, getting everything torn off the engine so the engine is ready to come out. Now, since this is a bus and not a truck, we can't really separate the body from the frame. Towards the rear of the bus, the body and the frame are integrated. They're riveted together. We have to cut things and damage stuff in order to separate the body from the frame. So we can't do that. We also can't drop the motor down through the frame rails because the frame rails are kind of like a V and the motor physically cannot fit through that. The only way for the engine to come out of the bus is to come out the front. And obviously that is a very crammed area. So everything has to be removed. Headlights, front bumper, front grill, all the stuff in front of it, all the accessories. We have to remove the intake manifold. We have to remove the alternators, the turbo, the oil pan, everything has to come off. Pretty much what we have to do is we have to snake a crane in there, lift it up a little bit, pull the oil pan off, and then pull the, pull the engine out. Spoiler alert, it is a mess of parts, of oil, of wiring. And let me just tell you, I'm so glad I didn't try to do this myself. It looks like a nightmare. But yeah, we are pulling the engine today on the adventure bus. Without any further ado, let's head over to Truck Works and start watching the process of pulling the engine out and tearing it all apart. <laughs> so that. Wow, yeah, holy crap. So that's from the lifters, the needle bearings and the lifters? Yeah. What are needle bearings? Just like a type of bearing? Yeah, it's just what they call it a needle because that's what it looks like. Yeah. It's a long, skinny bearing. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Gouge out of that 
Is that the oil pump? The low pressure oil yeah, pump. Yeah, yeah, okay. So this surface is actually how it seals and builds pressure. Yes. And if there's a big gouge it's gotta out of be, it. Like I said, some of this stuff here, some of that, like, okay. that's just from metal to metal contact. That's not a big deal. See, but that, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's bad. Yeah, because pretty much instead of building pressure, all the excess oil would just go through that hole. Yeah. Man. It is being pretty restrictive. Pretty, pretty what? Restrictive. That's just the compression, right? Yeah. What's the compression ratio of this thing? Like, uh, I think 18? this one's like 18 to one, something like that. Spun bearing? Well, not spun, but definitely we're definitely chewed fighting up. oil issues, yeah. Okay. Well. Oh, wow. Yeah, this one was pretty bad. Yeah, the crank doesn't look like it's bad, but for sure we should send it out. Especially with the manifold on it. <laughs> uh, that doesn't even affect it. These are all cast, so. True. Well, so you for sure have blown head gaskets. Really? Yeah, you can see that's all water and air leaking past. That is that. The engine is out of the adventure bus. It's all torn down. We got some good news. We have some bad news. Originally, we thought that the oil pump was bad and that it had spun a crank bearing. Once we tore everything apart, we realized that the front cover was damaged and that was what was causing our lack of oil pressure. All the crank bearings were in place. One of them was definitely damaged from the lack of oil pressure. Remember that the, the oil pump on the bus failed a mile away from the shop and we drove a mile 
roughly without oil pressure. So the crank bearing is definitely damaged from that. So we're gonna be replacing all the crank bearings and all the rod bearings. When we took off the heads and we looked at the cylinder walls though, everything looked good. So we don't have to take the pistons out. We don't have to do anything with that. That's gonna stay exactly how it is. That's all in good condition. When we pulled the oil pan off, we saw those needle bearings, which was really crazy to see. Those little things are what left all those marks in the front cover and all those oil pump gears. And that's what actually caused the oil pump to fail and the oil pressure to go away. The other thing that we noticed after taking the heads off the 6.0 is that the spray pattern of the injectors was a little off. I won't do a very good job at explaining this, but actually Engineering Explained made a really good video explaining how the injectors and the, the spray pattern of the fuel is really important on diesels. Point is that our injectors were definitely not great. So we are gonna be getting new injectors. Now, in the last video, I told you guys that we were going to be doing stock injectors and a stock turbo. After talking to Abel and some of the guys at Truckworks, uh, I've been convinced otherwise. Obviously getting to the injectors and replacing those bad boys is a huge pain in the butt on the, the van chassis. The stock injectors are actually really only good for about 400 crank horsepower with an off the shelf tune, with a custom tune and some finagling. You know, you can get 400 wheel maybe, but it's not quite as much as I wanted. So we are gonna be doing upgrade injectors if you know anything about diesels, I'm going to be doing 175, 30% over injectors, which that will give us plenty of room to make as much power as we want. The stock turbo, still good for about 400 wheel horsepower. If I can afford it, we're definitely going to be getting like an awesome stage two dual ball bearing turbo. That thing will help spool a bunch. It'll sound insane, more torque, more power. The bigger the turbo, the less heat. So everything kind of runs cooler and it's a little bit safer. So instead of making a you know, 400 horsepower, 300 wheel horsepower bus. We're gonna shoot for a 500 horsepower bus, 400 wheel horsepower bus. But I need your guys' help. When we were tearing into the stuff, of course, we found things that were broken and that needed to be replaced. Power steering lines were all cracked and rusted and about to explode. And power steering on a diesel is what controls your brakes too. So no power steering, no brakes. That's dangerous, especially with a gross weight of 14,000 pounds. So we're gonna be replacing that. Needs new trans lines, uh, you know, the radiator hoses, radiator hoses are bad. The glow plugs need to be replaced. The glow plug harness needs to be replaced. All this little stuff that we didn't really know if it was bad or not, turns out being bad and we're just gonna replace it all. The thing about the van chassis is that everything is so hard to get to, so hard to replace, that now that we're here, it is so much easier and so much cheaper to replace everything right now. For instance, if we were to leave the glow plug harness, just leave it there, put it back together, drive it for you know maybe a year or two, and then, oh no, glow plug harness goes bad, we need to re replace that. They have to spend 15 hours of labor to get everything torn down and able to replace those glow plug harnesses. Whereas now, it'll take five minutes. So, if you guys do wanna help support the, the bus rebuild, I would really, really appreciate it. So many of you guys have already helped and I'm so thankful. It's really, really awesome to see. But if you go to Patreon and become a patron, you can help support the bus. Anyone who becomes a patron this month to help support the bus is gonna get their name on the bus somewhere. I think it's gonna be like a big plaque on the back, but I'm also gonna be sending all of the blown up engine components and bus components to some random patrons. I know those two rewards really aren't adequate to repay all of you guys that helped me, and I'm sorry about that, but it's kind of all I can do. So just huge thank you to anyone who becomes a patron and helps support. I really, really appreciate it. Oh, the other thing, if we get the next goal on Patreon, I'm gonna be doing just a huge burnout in the bus once it's done. Um, just imagine a school bus roasting four, you know, it's a dually, so four rear tires with diesel, Ugh, it's, I'm so excited for this build, guys. It's, it's gonna be so cool. You know, it sucks that this entire thing happened in the first place, but I am incredibly excited for this whole thing. Uh, the finished product, obviously, is gonna be so cool. It's gonna be so fast, but it's also gonna be reliable. Everything is gonna be new, and just it's gonna be a fresh motor. But the other thing I really enjoy about this is that I'm learning so much about the bus and about diesels, just watching the guys at Truckworks work on everything. It's really, really cool, and I'm really enjoying it. Hopefully you guys are too. It's a nice change of pace, just being able to film and learn and not have to do anything. <laughs> With that being said, I do wanna give a huge thanks to everybody at Truckworks. Abel, the tech who's actually working on the bus is really awesome. He has an Instagram if you are interested in following that. He's worked on some pretty freaking cool things and everyone else at Truckworks is really awesome. Um, so huge thanks to them. Follow them on Instagram, do all that. I think that is pretty much 
it. What's up next for the bus, you might be asking? Well, I personally, I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna clean all the fire extinguisher residue from putting out the fire, and then I'm gonna go ahead and POR the entire frame. We're not ever gonna get this chance again to POR the frame around the engine and all that. We're putting a lot of money into this bus and we want it to not just destroy itself from salt in a year or two. So I'll be doing all of that. The heads and all that are going off to the machine shop to get machines. Once we get those back and once we get all the new parts, we can put everything back together. Thank you guys so much for the support. None of this would be possible without you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. But if you didn't, please give it a dislike and tell me why you disliked. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Bunch of adventure bus, bunch of other stuff coming soon. Peace out. Goodbye.